Hello brain lovers, Gregory here from the Brain Academy. Now what do Elon Musk, a pig and a monkey have in common? Man, that sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. Seven months ago, Elon Musk promised us to reveal the Matrix in the Matrix. It sounded very promising, but then he gave us a pig called Gertrude and a, through a brain chip we could hear some beeps each time her snout was touching something. Gertrude, thanks for coming out. So this time he promised us a monkey playing video games with its mind alone. Now, if you were expecting the monkey to play Fortnite or Grand Theft Auto, yeah, you might have had to adjust your expectations. So last week Neuralink, this company owned by Elon Musk and working on a, developing a computer brain interface with brain chips, well, they released a new video. This time we met Pager. This is Pager. A macaque who had two brain chips inserted, one on each side of the brain. So the monkey was trained in moving a cursor on a screen with a joystick and receiving a banana smoothie as reward whilst doing so. Well, that alone was fun, actually. Nothing revolutionary, but pretty fun nonetheless. Now the two brain chips they had inserted in the monkey's brain had 2000 electrodes connected to its motor cortex. More precisely, the part in the brain that controls arm and hand movement. Now this is where things become pretty cool, you see? It's not a secret that our brain decides to move before giving the actual order to move. Right? And apparently these guys at Neuralink were able to monitor that in such a way that it was enough for the monkey to think about movement and pair that to the cursor on the screen so that the monkey could control the cursor just thinking about movement instead of actually moving its arm. Later, release him. As you wish. <sighs> Now it was funny how they showcased that. First they showed the macaque playing with the joystick, then they disconnected the joystick and then they just removed the joystick altogether. And yes, the cursor was still moving. And not just moving actually. Just to show off a little, they had the monkey playing this game of ping pong on screen. They called it mind pong <laughs> and he was pretty good at it actually. Okay, so we have a monkey playing a video game with his thoughts alone. So what does it mean? Well, my excitement immediately was for the implications regarding paralytics or amputees, right? Because we could have them move a cursor just like the monkey was doing on a screen. Connect that screen to the internet and you have someone who can freely serve the internet. Just like that. That's a whole world opening up, a, a virtual one, sure, but still. And the next step, of course, is linking that technology to prosthetic limbs, where instead of moving a cursor on screen, you send the order from your brain directly without wires to move your prosthetic arm or, or hand or legs. This is the key for the next big step in helping those who physically depend on others. So how revolutionary is all this? Well, <laughs> you see, the ping pong game the monkey was playing first came out in 1972. Well, even I wasn't born at that time. Okay, I'm being mean here. <laughs> And what about the brain chip? Pretty cool, huh? Yes, pretty cool, but again, we've been doing that for 20 years. Seriously, researchers in 2002 had a monkey move a cursor on a computer screen for the first time through brain implants. So just like with Gertrude, it's great to see Neuralink advance in their development. I truly think it's phenomenal what they're doing. At the same time, for now, they're actually just catching up. And it's not as if they developed this in the last six months, you know, since the last presentation with Gertrude. Elon Musk already talked about this back in 2019. Back then they already had achieved this exact same thing. They just now decided to show it to the world. Probably part of a larger marketing campaign or so. So expect more news from them probably in about another six months. Because you have to give it to Elon Musk. He knows how to catch the attention. He knows how to create excitement. I couldn't help but smile at the end of the video when they were saying that they were recruiting engineers. I mean, you can't have a viral moment go to waste, right? One last thought though. Am I the only one feeling sorry for the monkey? No! So what will be the next step for Neuralink, huh? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Hey, and don't forget to like and subscribe. We have new episodes of this vlog coming out every week. And if you want the real stuff, you go to brainacademy.com. Join our 350,000 students and start using your brain better. Brain out. Sharpen.